Um, this is the, the this is the Zen Yarn Garden booth, um, and we have a couple fun things to to show you today. So uh, please do open your chats. We um, we have some giveaways, and if you have any questions or you want us to show something else, please just uh, stop us or raise your hand and. Um, I am Suzanne Nielsen, um, one of your presenters, and also with us is Laura Cameron, and she's um, knit pretty much everything I'm going to show you, so <laughs> we have a good resource here. <laughs> and then um, Roxanne, of course, is behind the scenes, but here helping out. And um, yeah, so we're going to get started with, uh, Laura, well, first I'll let Laura say hi. <laughs> sure, welcome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, put our discount code in the chat right now. When you go to our website, which is zenyarngarden.com, you'll get 25% off site-wide until 11.59 p.m. Um, September 13th, which is today is the 11th, so that's Tuesday night, um, a couple days from now. Um, use the discount code STITCHES at home, all in capitals, at checkout, and you'll see those prices reflected. And that even applies to anything that is already on sale, so um, you'll receive your additional 25% off of that. Um, all orders over $49 receive free shipping in the US and Canada um, because we like doing that. So um, as Suzanne said, there will be a few times that we will make use of your chat window. We've got a couple $10 gift certificates that we'll be giving away throughout the half hour. I will give you a note so that if you are watching on your phone, you'll be able to open chat. Um, we will ask a small trivia question on something that you have seen, and then we will pick a number answer to um, take for winners. So I'm going to turn it back over to Suzanne, and she's going to start to tell you about some of the new projects we have available for this fall. Yay. Yes. And Laura and I are going to be leading um, some knit alongs coming up. So that's one of the first ones we get to show. Um, this one is just a beautiful shawl um, that Laura knit, of course. <laughs> um, and it is called uh, the List Tea Shawl. And it's just a really interesting construction. Um, if you know me at all, you know I like interesting construction. And I think this covers it. Um, so you start at the center here. And you're working in the round um, and then some clever short rows for the leaves, leaves, <laughs> leaf shaping. Um, and it's a beautiful. So what we've done with the Zen yarn is we've used one gradient cake um, and we'll we'll show you some more of those. But it is um, this is a fingering weight shawl so that you have one undyed skein and then one uh, gradient cake. And so that does all the work for you as far as color goes. Um, so as you can see, we we fade out, um, but because of the, the shawl construction, um, you're going in the circle and the, the color is changing as you work your way out, which I think is just a really neat effect. Um, and it is a very large shawl with just two, two skeins. Um, so that's a really nice thing. It's, it can be, you know, you can do all of your, I'll show you all my shawl wrapping techniques, um, but it is just a really big, nice, beautiful shawl um, that you can wear like a shawl, or I think one of my favorite ways is to, to do um, off-center it a little bit, kind of on your shoulder and wrap it over. Um, but this, this, if you just do it this way, then it's likely to fall off um, when you're like doing work and stuff. And one super simple fix is just to put this tail under first and then this one, and it kind of locks everything in place. And then if you're, you know, moving around <laughs> to pick something up, it stays nicely without a shawl pin. But of course, we love shawl pins too. So you could always add a shawl pin um, or something. And I think this one is long enough um, to do like a crisscross. Mm, not quite. Um, well, yeah, I could do a crisscross in front here um, and do a little tie. I'm pretty tall. So I think this would work for most um, of a normal height. <laughs> um, but this, or you can do even in the front is often how I like to wear shawls, especially um, to give you more warmth in the front. And I do a crisscross, well, just a shawl version or just a, you know, wear it kind of more like a cowl here. Um, Oh, it's warm today, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> it looks good, you know, a lot of different ways. Yeah, these are, um, are going to be perfect fall knits and not so good for Texas at the beginning. No, of no, it's pretty hot. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
but I can't wait for cooler weather and <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Listy and we're doing a knit along. So it starts soon. It's going to start next week on the 18th, a week from today. Um, so if you want to join us, um, we will be starting with the center. So if you have like a just a plain skein that you want to use in the center, um, you can do that. We also we use the undyed, which is a little less um, because it's, it doesn't contain the, the beautiful dye work that Zen does, but it's really good contrast. So um, you can go ahead and order the undyed. We can probably get the undyed out to you um, quickly. And then um, if the if we if the gradient cake is not in stock, then we can we can get that to you for the next um, session of the knit along. Um, so let us know if you're going to do the join us for the knit along, and we'll make sure to get um, get you the undyed at least. <laughs> and yeah, we'll start with the techniques. So there's a few different techniques that we're going to cover um, that the designer does, and um, like a ring cast on and um, knitting in the round. But also this is, um, I don't know if you can see very well, it is garter stitch, um, which, you know, if you're usually when you do garter stitch in the round, you get stockinette. Um, but with this one, she has a way, um, and Laura and I are scheming a, maybe even a little variation on this, but you can do garter stitch in the round um, without having to purl, because, you know, it's always nicer just to be able to like zoom through knit. <laughs> um, right, Laura. So tell us a little bit more about it, Laura, or do you have any, did I take all your? <laughs> no, I think, I think you mostly covered it. Um, so the shawl starts in the center section and you do start with a ring cast on, and then you start building that center section. And there is some short rowing that happens to kind of give you that almost like star shape um, before you start adding the leaves on. So the oh, okay. other thing that I will say is this, um, well, if you want to purl, you can purl. Um, there's nothing that says you can't. They've just designed it in a way so that you don't have to. Um, you but can you purl could, the whole thing. Just no knitting. <laughs> you can just as if easily you. purl um, every other row. Um, so we will be holding this knit along. Um, we'll, the center of the shawl is worked in a circle and then you do the wings sequentially. So the wings are actually just worked back and forth, which is also why um, the, the gradient doesn't quite like on one side, it's a little bit yellower and on one side, it's a little bit redder because I was working through different parts of the gradient. But the nice part is that it still looks like it's all kind of one Whoa, color. Yeah. Yeah. So I will and show you, you, to, you know, um, you use it, the gradient is is in the round until you get to like here, right? Yes, and then you go back and forth. So I wanted to show you that the kit is available on our site um, and the kit comes with um, one cake of um, super fine fingering in a gradient and then two skeins of the natural. And you have your choice on the, um, you can see some of my, um, pictures as I was knitting it up, but you have your choice on gradients. So we chose the woodland gradient, but you could choose any of our gradients um, and uh, knit sort of in any fashion. Um, and so we'll be meeting for three weeks on Zoom. We have two um, September dates, 18th and 25th, and then we'll be meeting for our final session in October. And those are just smaller sessions where you get to sit with rock uh, with with, well, Roxanne is sometimes there, but you get to sit with Suzanne and me and we talk about all the techniques that you'll need and then you'll have a little time to go back and um, knit on your own. Yes. So that's- And then come oh, back see, and ask I, us more I questions. This, <laughs> I would put this probably at an intermediate knit. There's nothing about it that's super complicated other than the fact that you do have to follow the directions pretty carefully for the short rowing to create your leaves. Um, but if you've knit short rows before, then this shouldn't be that hard for you. Um, and they do do German short rows here, so. Good, those are easy, I like them the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you're just joining us too, we have recorded the session, so you can always um, go back and pick up what if you miss anything, but um, uh, let's see. So what's next, Laura? Do we get to show? Oh, I guess um, I guess we're going to do a first gift certificate. Yay. Okay. So <laughs> um, open your chat windows, and um, the winner here will receive a ten dollars gift certificate that you can. And everything we talk about is stackable, so you can take your twenty five percent off and use your gift certificate at the same time. You don't have to have separate orders to do that. Um, so I'm going to pick the third correct answer. The question is, what is the gradient colorway that we used in the Litzy shawl? The one we just showed you. That's a tough one. 
<laughs> well, I know we said it multiple times, but yeah, you did say it, but it's like you're not listening. Uh, let's see. Can I give a hint? What's a hint? Um, it might be somewhere you want to take a hike. Oh, they got it. <laughs> they did get it. And it looks like Good the job. third person is Deborah Sue. So Deborah Sue, if you just want to message um, Zen Yarn Garden, they're in the chat. And um, if you just want to message her privately, she'll get what she needs from you. I think it's just your email and she will send you your gift certificate. So Yay. now we're going to move on to another new knit that we have for the fall. Yay, this is one that, that I am really excited about. Um, and Laura knit. <laughs> this is called the toe um, cowl and there's also a matching tam that goes with it. Um, they are like a pair that you get and um, they're knit by, or they're designed by two different designers. It was like a collaboration together. And um, it, it means water, it means water, um, but it just has a really cool, you know, cloud with the, the rain, lightning or whatever you want to, to call. Um, and it is just two skeins of worsted weight can get you both, right? Mm -hmm. And it, but it, you, it, we have an option to add an extra, you use a little bit more of the natural. Um, so if you want to make sure that you're going to have enough, you can get that one, but you should be able to get two, both of them out of two skeins. Um, and it is a little bit of color work, um, just simple color work, but um, knit in the round. And I think we're going to do, are we going to do tutorial Tuesdays on this we one? We are. I was just going to add that. So I'm adding where you can get the kit. And what I was going to say is, so on the white, I used all but a few grams of my skein. I had between four and five grams left. So if you're worried about gauge and yardage, you might want to get the second skein. On the red, I used about two thirds of the skein. So you definitely won't need a second one of that. Um, we decided to make this part of our tutorial Tuesdays. Um, every Tuesday evening, well, not every Tuesday evening, but quite a Some few Tuesday Tuesdays. evenings um, from 7 to 7.30 Eastern time, we hold a free 30-minute tutorial. You do have to register because in the past, um, we've had a few problems with um, people accessing the Zoom. So you Zoom do bombing. have to register so that you get the Zoom link, um, but it is free to attend and you do not have to purchase the kit or anything. Um, if you choose to, you can purchase the kit and it will be there in time and we will go over all the techniques, um, which includes, you know, the cast on and knitting in the round, all of the color work, um, and also we'll be talking a little bit about floats and um, how to get your color work to look nice because the charts in here, there, there are some large areas um, where um, there's like either lots of one color or lots of the other color and you're carrying your floats behind. Yeah, we'll also so talk so about color work charts. So I'm pretty proud of my background. It's fairly neat. Um, and I, I do something called catching my floats and I don't know if we're gonna cover that, but um, that, yeah. that is what I did. Um, I caught my floats. I went no more than five stitches. So, um, and generally um, if it were five or six, I caught once in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. So our, again, our tutorial Tuesdays are free to attend. All you have to do is register using the link um, mm -hmm. and you can always join us just to learn. We either cover a project or a technique or yeah. both. Um, we usually like to kind of pick a project that the uses the technique because I think it's kind of fun to to do that mm -hmm. to practice with it. Um, but but certainly these techniques that we're teaching are you know used in a lot of different things. So um, don't think that it's just based on you know one specific thing um but yeah these are i love these so the the designers the two designers both have um them listed on their ravelry web pages and when you buy one you get both no matter which one you get it from right mm -hmm. so um yeah, I, I, so i think we'll i was just yeah. going to do that um yeah. i'll also share um so the tow water towel and tam kit um this, um, we have some great photos of it and um, you can purchase the kit um, and it comes, like, I, like we said, you can purchase whether you want one skein or two of the white, just to be sure you have enough. Um, and uh, we'll cover both. Um, the, the charts between the two are similar. Um, obviously the TAM has a little bit of um, shaping whereas the cowl is just one set of stitches all the way through, um, but, but the rain cloud um, color work portion, um, we, we will definitely show you that. Um, both are knit in the round. I'm trying to think what else. 
The stitches themselves are not complicated. And also if you've been wanting to learn color work, this um, is not a terribly difficult pattern, particularly because neither of them are um, super long and involved. Um, you know, it's worsted weight yarn, so it's pretty, it's pretty simple, um, but it does have a few challenges. So it would be a good, or if you've knit color work once or twice and you want to knit more, um, this would be a good project for that. Mm -hmm. And we just think it would be fun for fall. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> and the designer's in Albuquerque, which is where um, I grew up. So <laughs> it has a special place in my heart here. <laughs> um, all right, but let's see. Um, I think we covered everything for the Tam and the Cowl. If you have questions, please interrupt us and let us know. Um, but next, the what I'm wearing, I get to show you. Um, and this is um, the Tillens. Oh gosh, I'm not even gonna say it right. Tillandsia. Uh, Tillandsia. Tillandsia. T and uh, Laura knit this one as well, but she made it a little extra longer just for me. <laughs> um, but it still is like a cropped top um, that's just a little swingy. And um, this is the size medium, I think she said mm -hmm. on here. It's mm -hmm. uh, for size four, 36 to 42 inch bust. Um, so like it does have a little bit of positive ease and it's nice and swingy and I just it, it's really nice I'm like I'm enjoying wearing it for this <laughs> little bit um, but it is knit with our nightshade yarn which is a little bit new for us um, but it has one strand of black and then one strand of um, the natural that we dyed so you can see this one is I don't know if I can even hold this really close. Uh, that's <laughs> not working bit. so well, but anyway. It's it giving it a little um, bit of a mauled look. Yeah, I could take it off, I guess. But you can see how it's got a little bit of just interest there because of that black running through it. Um, so it is, um, yeah. How many skeins did you use for this one, Laura? It's a fingering weight too, right? It is a fingering weight. Um, I want to say... I think I broke into a bit of the third because I added length. Um, and I will say that Laura Ayler gives lots of um, tips and tricks on how you can customize it for you. It is available in a set of sizes and the size range is pretty good, um, but she also gives you tips and tricks. So if you don't want yours cropped, she'll tell you, you can just add a couple extra rows to each section, which is basically what I did for yours. And I mm -hmm. would have been able to knit the medium in two cakes, except that I added, um, I added, like an extra row or two to every single section. So I ended up with about, I don't know, 12 to 16 extra rows and I needed a little bit. All like in here before the lace or? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. You can, you can add extra. She'll say, if you want extra length in the body, add it here. If you want extra length in the yoke, add it here. Um, she really does give you a little bit of, I, I mean, it, you can knit mm -hmm. the pattern exactly as written, but you can also customize it if you'd like to. Um, and then the lace sections are just kind of fun. It's just a little bit of lace at the bottom. It is knit top down um, with yoke shaping. So okay. then you kind of just do a little bit of lace at the end. And of course it has the magic of lace, which is you knit it and it looks like it just looks weird and then you block it and it comes out beautifully and it just gives a little bit of extra texture and interest yeah so, um i will share my screen she wore a white shirt maybe underneath it so you can see the lace through but yeah um and you can also i mean it's not it's not super see-through i'm not really sure that the um i don't think the model was wearing anything underneath no no i'm wearing a black shirt underneath but um, I wouldn't have needed to wear it, but I, uh, so this is, um, this is the one that you're, you're seeing the sample that I knit on the model. Um, and then you also could choose from any of our other nightshade colorways. We have lots of fun colors. Um, I knit it in red maple, which was just a fairly, um, you know, fairly solid, but you could certainly use any of our others. Um, and, um, it was, it was a simple project. It did not take me very long. It was really nice summer knitting because it was lightweight. Um, mm -hmm. And I will say for those of you who see wool tees and think, oh, I would never want to wear that in the summer. Wool actually, um, fingering weight does actually keep you fairly cool in the summer. It, it won't make you sweat and it does kind of wick away moisture. So, um, you know, I realize we're at the end of summer, but if it is uh, consistently warm weather where you live, a fingering weight tee is still a nice, um, yeah. a nice yeah. addition to the wardrobe. 
for sure good in the fall or like early spring when you want to stop <laughs> you know you still need a little warmth or something or you could layer it too you know you could wear something underneath yeah. it um and Definitely. then it would provide some wool warmth still <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Uh, the only other thing I will say is that in this project in particular, um, as opposed to the other two, um, I did alternate my skeins um, because all of the skeins of Zen Yarn Garden, um, they're dyed in batches and they're, and they're hand dyed. And so, um, you know, every so often there will be subtle variations between batches and the best way to um, sort of make sure that you don't have any obvious lines or, um, or pooling sections in your project is to go ahead and um, alternate skeins. So I did do that and I normally do do that in um, quite a few of the things that I'm knitting for Zen. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to in the last one because it was mostly the natural um, or it was the color work. So, and there were only two skeins. So yeah. it wasn't, a, it wasn't an issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we get to give another gift certificate. We do. So <laughs> um, go ahead and open your chat window. Um, and I'm going to pick the fifth correct answer here. Um, what knitting technique will we be sharing um, on our tutorial Tuesdays? And um, what technique would you use to knit the toe, um, cowl, or tam? <laughs> this is kind of tricky. <laughs> I think there's multiple answers. Don't we say multiple things here? <laughs> well, people are starting to give yeah. us answers. Yes. <laughs> That's what you were going for, I think, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. I just need to go back. Um, it looks like my fifth is um, Sherry Ham color work in the round. So if that is you. Go ahead and message Zen Yarn Garden, um, and she will send you your discount code. Yay. So now we get to go to the fun part. Not that it's not all fun, but you love this part. <laughs> Yes, this is like where your creativity really gets to, to come out and like our creative juices get flowing. <laughs> um, we have more, we keep making more of these, so you've probably seen them before, but we have grab bags. <laughs> so these are um, sets of skeins that are sold as a set. Um, they are discounted, but your discount for this um for the stitches at home um gets applied on top of that so even more off um they are sold as a group so you can't pick and choose like the skein then the skein it's it's one group together so you pick that specific group um and there's usually only like one of each grip group available so they do kind of go fast so if you see one you like grab it um and we all different kinds. So I see a bunch of um, super fine glitter available. Also, that's SFG is <clears throat> super fine glitter. Um, and then SF stands for super fine. So we have a bunch of those available, which is what the top um, and um, the shawl are knit out of. <clears throat> So you could use um, you can use different ones for this if you don't want to use the gradient cake. <clears throat> it would be possible to use like one solid color and then one um, contrasting color. Um, so have so mini skeins. And then these are good. our mini skeins, yeah. which are, <clears throat> excuse me, um, like 200 yards each in each mini skein. So they're kind of like half of a skein. Um, baby skeins, the baby super fine are yes. half of that. So they're 100 yes. minis. Baby or, sorry, are, they're 100, they're yard 100 yards. 25 mm -hmm. grams. And then super fine bulky. Bulky. Uh, SSS plus is Serenity Silk Plus. It's a fingering weight base and it is absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. That's the same as what's in our Lux Blanks. Um, super drapey. There's 500 yards per skein in the super or Serenity Silk Plus. Um, uh, so right. Yes. 20. There's lots of options. So. Take a peruse and even some worsted um, for like some nice yeah. sweaters as we're heading into fall. You might be looking for your next sweater set, sweater kit. <laughs> so if if you see these, grab them because there may only be one bag like it. So if there's one that you really like, make sure that you um, jump in and grab it if you can. Mm -hmm. 
So, and they generally do coordinate well together. So, um, you know, nice to use for projects, but also, you know, we often split them up and, and, you know, use one in this project, one in another project, or if you're, you know, generous enough to knit as a gift, then <laughs> um, there's, there's yeah. ones that you could use together and um, and have coordinating matching things. <laughs> so we also have our gradient yarns available. Yay. And we have um, the top ones are, whoops, sorry. Mm -hmm. button. The top ones are gradients that are in um, our super fine base. So each skein is 400 yards, but you get two in the bag. That mm -hmm. is what we used to knit um, Litzy. So if there was a color here that you really, really liked, you could order some of these and you'd have a cake left over for a separate project. Mm -hmm. um, or just actually, get this two, two undyes right and here. then that would be, you know, nice. These, for... these two right here were the, the 35 were the ones that I used because that's Woodlands and then this is the other one. Nice. <laughs> so. <clears throat> but it's sold out. It is. So. <laughs> And then down towards the bottom, we also get into our Lux blanks, which are basically our gradient cakes. They are dyed in a blank and then we wind them into cakes. And so you can get either um, a, you can get it either in a um, large cake. These are our Serenity Silk Plus base. Um, and that, and those come in oversized 150 gram, um, 750 yard cakes. Um, and then we have a variety of projects that you can make in them. For instance, the Onward Shawl is knit in one of the Lux Cakes um, of Woodlands. And this was a pattern designed by Suzanne Nielsen um, right here. And um, it's a garter stitch with some eyelet detailing and some short rows. And I have a sneak, can I throw them a sneak peek? Yeah. I just finished, this is just fresh off the needles and I need to, to finish writing it up, but I've used one Lux Blank and this is um, a Mobius cowl. Um, so it was really fun. It's just, you know, cast on in the middle and then knit until you're out of, of the yarn. And because um, because it's the Mobius and the, the you know, Lux cake, you can really see all of the cake colors just going through there. So that's well, coming very soon. Well, and you can also use um, a Lux cake or two and knit a top. This yes. is Maven top, I love that top by Maven Knits. Um, and I basically knit it out of one cake of, again, Woodland. We're kind of high on Woodland today, <laughs> but I had a gradient cake left over from when they sent me a box of yarn. Um, and I am a 38 bust. So I knit the medium size out of one cake. Um, and I even had a little bit left over. You might be able to get the large out of one cake. Um, and then upper sizes, you'd need two cakes. Um, but I literally just started at the top and worked my way through the shaping. The sleeves are pretty simple. There's just a little bit of, um, you just pick up a little bit of ribbing at the end. But um, yeah, so we love, we love our gradient cakes. Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> So um, the final thing that we wanted to share with you, let me share my screen once more because I forgot to do the last thing, is um, we are newly available on Amazon. So if you need a really quick fix, we do have some of our super fine merino. That's our 100% um, super fine fingering superwash merino. Um, and we have them in a variety of colorways and they will ship with prime shipping. So um, if you are, you know, if you are really jonesing and you can't wait for us to ship from Canada, you can purchase on Amazon um, under Zen Yarn Garden. Um, and uh, I will put the link to that in um, the chat so you can find that unless Roxanne may have already done that. Um, and there is, um, I think there's a discount right now for, oh, the, for month the month of September. of September. Yeah. 15% off all yarns in stock at Amazon. Mm -hmm. But so the, I, the discount that's for the for this show only applies on the website on the Zen Yarn Garden website. Yes, um, and there's only a select of you know what's available on Amazon. Um, there's no special order or anything, obviously, through Amazon. But <laughs> so I'll just reiterate um, that you can find everything on our website, which is zenyarngarden.com. Um, the discount code is Stitches at Home for 25% off site wide. And again, that's um, on any price, even if it's already on sale. Um, we hope when you go there, you'll sign up for our newsletters if you want to hear more from us. And you'll also um, receive some invitations to some of our tutorial Tuesdays. And you can knit along with us on some of the projects if you'd like to do that too. So um, we will be back again at 4 p.m. this afternoon. 
Um, so uh, 4 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. Eastern. So we hope you have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy shopping. Enjoy your classes. Yes. And I don't know, do you have anything else? Nope, that's it. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Bye.